Hi everyone, we are back in lockdown, which means we're restricted to riding just the local trails, which at the moment are an absolute mud bath. However, I've bought a van ready for when lockdown is lifted and we can travel to trail centers. So I'm gonna spend some time now plylining the van, kitting it out and building a bike rack so that I can get three bikes in. So this is my van, it is a Vauxhall Combo. As you can see, it is a crew van, which means it's got a second row of seats. I'm gonna drop two of those seats down and leave the third one up. And I'm gonna try and build the van so that it can hold three people and three bikes. Now there are loads and loads and loads of van build projects on YouTube and loads of really good uh, mountain bike vans on YouTube. This is gonna be uh, more of a realistic mountain biking van. It's not gonna be one of these all singing, all dancing mountain bike vans, but it's gonna hold all our essentials, it's gonna get the three of us in there, uh, and it's going to get us to the trail. So what I'm doing at the moment is ply lining the floor, which will just make it easier to sweep out after a ride. So, got the flooring done. I'm, I'm finishing for the day now, because it's freezing. So day two of the van project and today I'm gonna get some ply on the sides here and here and on the doors just to protect them a little bit in case we, we shut the door and a handlebar hits it or a bike goes over and hits the side or something like that. So the van's got these panels but they're, they're quite thin, flimsy and the way my bike goes in the handlebar goes right up against this so I wanna put something a bit thicker there just to protect the wall of the van so these are coming out and I shall use this as a template to draw around and cut out the ply panel. I've used 12 mil ply for the floor of the van. I'm using six mil ply for the panels. So it's a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. Remember, if you're working with power tools and there's gonna to be lots of sawdust to wear your safety glasses, I forgot to put mine on and had to run back into the garage to get them. Really important to keep all the sawdust out of your eyes. First panel's cut, just got to sand the edges. That's gonna go on there like that. Now I can't screw it to this because that's that's only single skim and obviously it's gonna go through. I need to screw it to this thicker part here. So I've got these white blocks. I'm just gonna figure out the best way of mounting these. That's the first panel done. So my handlebar's up against that now. There's a bit more protection. It's not gonna dent the van. Just go to the other side. side panels are done now I want to put some protection on here just in case the bike's sticking out a little bit and I slam the door shut I don't want a handlebar or brake lever or anything to, to dent this now I'm not it's been ply lined before and these are the screw holes but if I put a sheet of wood over here I'm gonna lose this depth and it's already quite tight getting the three bikes in and I want I want to have this in case the, the end of the handlebar needs to go in there so I'm gonna make a piece to fit snug in there but I haven't got anything to draw around this time so I need to make my own template so I've made a template out of lining paper that lines up with the door I'm going to draw around this into the wood get it cut out and fix it in so there's the first door panel done put round it's a nice fit I'm going to do the same as I did with the side panels and use these plastic blocks just to sandwich it in but before I do that I'm going to draw around this one and cut another one for the other door. You change your life. Nothing will be lost if you die. Okay, so day three. It's a little bit warmer today. The sun's out. Now I've fitted this panel of wood here, which is going to be removable. And the plan is to mount some, some fork mounts to this. I've bought this metal pipe, which is 16mm internal diameter, so our 15mm axles should fit in there with uh, tolerance. So I'm gonna cut this to size, I'm gonna make some fork mounts so the front wheels come off uh, and mount to the van. I've got my helper with me today. So, let's get building. You can 
buy fork mounts uh, off the internet, but they're really expensive. The ones I've seen are 40, 50, even 60 pounds each. Um, so I'm making some. So I've cut this piece of pipe to 110 mil, which is the same uh, width as my axle, so it fits nice uh, and snug between the forks. I've got these pipe clamps, which are gonna fit over it, and that is gonna fit to this block of wood like this, and then this block of wood will be fixed into this plank and it'll be secured into the van. The problem, however, is to get the three bikes in, um, one of the bikes needs to have the handlebars turned, and when you turn the bars, the one fork is higher than the other, which means the whole bike is then on an angle. So I need to raise this to meet the angle of the fork so that the bike is upright, or else it's gonna take up too much space. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. It looks a little bit rough at the moment because it needs painting, it needs cleaning up, but, We've got the fork mounting it. It looks a bit odd at the moment because it is angled quite a lot, but that'll go in sideways like this. Okay, so I'm just securing the mount that I've made to the board, which will be fixed into the van. I'm screwing from the bottom up so it's got a little bit more purchase on it. Harrison's doing a very important job of being my counterweight. Moment of truth. Harrison's been my helper today. Let's see if it works. I've put these little swivelly blocks in to keep this plank still. I have got some catches on the way, but these might actually work better. So this is what we want to see. And the plan is to put the bike over here, taking up as little room as possible with the handlebars turned, and then the axle will go through and secure the bike in place. And it should just fit with the bars just touching the, the door. So let's have a little look. So that's the bike in. And let's see if we can get the axle in. So that's in. Get my little Bontrager key. This little tool is great, but I really wish the bike had one of those quick release style levers on the axle. Let's make this a little bit easier. It's in, it's secure, and that's not going anywhere. That's absolutely fine. Let's see what it's like when we close the door. So it is touching, but actually that'll just help keep it a little bit more secure. Day four, the van build, it snowed last night, so it's freezing again. I've been to pick up Ben's bike today, so we got that here. I'm gonna try and fit the other two bikes in the van, and look who's come to join us. <laughs> so, you're going to crack on? So we've done a bit of a mock-up of how the bikes are going to fit. So they're all in, just about, with three seats still up. So all we got to do now is build the mounts for the forks. And we're good to go. I'm hijacking Craig's video. <laughs> and now, the conundrum that we've got, we've got my bike in, which to be honest is the most important. It doesn't matter really about Craig's bike as long as he gets my bike to the trail. And Ben's bike is just Ben's bike. So it's, you know, when he sets off from home, his front wheel's in the trail anyway, because it's that long. <laughs> <laughs> but the conundrum that we've got now, obviously one, two, this has worked out well because the rock shop axle comes out from the left-hand side, the Fox Fork, their axles go in from the right hand side. Now Ben's bike, obviously it's left hand side, but we need to turn the forks enough in order to get the axle in and out. And obviously the bike's so long and the handlebars need to be at a certain angle um, so the door can actually shut. We need to take a little bit off that pipe. Possibly, I don't know if it's just the angle. Oh no, no that's, that's all right. Yeah. That's perfect, that is. I'll cut that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's in. That's in. Right, it needs to be at an angle in order that we can get it out. Come over a bit more. I think he was over a bit more. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that little catch. Yeah. So that looks about right. Yeah. yeah, do you want to hold it? Yeah, got it. Get it on off put. Oh, there's plenty of room for that axle to come out there. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mark's bike would have to go in first, wouldn't it? Yeah. So let's see if... 
I think the same again, isn't it? Same again, yeah. Yeah. So it's just that, isn't it? Yeah. Looking out well. It's going really well. Really well. And they're very sturdy. All my fingers, still. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching Code Red on Channel 5 the other night, where someone from Starbridge actually took his hand in. No, I think it was a girl from Birmingham took his hand in to one of these chop saws and they showed you the tendons and the blood and the fat and the muscles. It's not even what you're thinking about. No. We've got three bikes in, three mounts made. Pretty good. Here they are. And enough room for three people. Happy days. I oh, know, yeah. <laughs> Got a van, built it in lockdown. Can't, can't go anywhere. <laughs> so the plan was to get three bikes in and three people, but Mark started riding with us, so we wanted to see if we could get a fourth bike in. It just means we could only get two people in the van, so it means someone else would have to drive anyway. But look at that four bikes. Just about. Just need to make a mount for his bike now. And we sorted. It's cool. <laughs> mount made. And Gaz has just made these little bits here to hold the axles while we're putting the bikes in the van, which would be handy. There we go. Let's go, let's go. We're still in lockdown. Oh, God damn it, stupid country. <laughs> <laughs> but we're ready to go. So when lockdown's over, we've got the bikes in the van. Van's all built. Still a few little finishing touches I want to do to it, but. Have the bikes got to stay in the van until lockdown's finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, you can't have it back now. They're a walk out. <laughs> 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 so hopefully. We'll get some good riding in this year. We're gonna get some good places. We've got a ticket waiting for us at Bike Park Wales. We've got a ticket waiting for us at 417. Um, so as soon as this stupid lockdown's over, then uh, mm. we'll get some good riding in this year. Make yeah. some good use of the van. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait, and I can't wait for the spring. Because <laughs> the weather's <laughs> miserable at the moment. And uh, I've actually reinvigorated myself by riding along the canal this morning. But at least I'm on my bike. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Really helps.